Hey everyone, this is Kevin with Divinely Design, and today I have one of the videos in response to my um, request video. Several of you have added a uh, request of videos that you would like to see, and today I will be doing one of those. If you have a request that you would like to see, check the link below um, in the description for that video for requests and add your request in the comments to that video, and I may do a video that you ask for. Today's video is for solid um, lotion bars, and in my request video I've had a couple people say, hey, you've done this before, but could you do another video that's really simple? Or, um, I really like this product you made, but it had a lot of ingredients, could you do a simplified version of it? So I'm trying something a little bit different for this video. I'll be doing two parts. The first part will be very simple and uh, to the point, give the recipe and the basic instructions for the um, solid lotion bars and solid perfume bars. And then there will be a part two where I will ramble some more like I usually do and talk about um, oils and packaging and um, different things that you could do to make the uh, solid lotion bar. So we'll see how this format goes. If you like it, leave a comment below. Okay, so stay tuned for solid lotion bars. Measure out your beeswax, soft oils, and hard oils. In this case, I have 33 grams of beeswax, 33 grams of sweet almond oil, and a total of 33 grams of hard oils divided in half, half being cocoa butter and half being shea butter. To this entire mixture, I'm going to also add one gram of vitamin E. Heat your beeswax, liquid oils, and hard oils in a double boiler or in a heat proof container in a water bath and heat them gently until they're all liquid. Add the melted mixture to your choice of molds. These can be decorative and small for single use, or they can be larger for multiple uses. Once you have your molds filled, allow them to cool. If you'd like to turn this into a solid perfume, we'll make just a little bit of a change in our recipe. We're still going to use 33 grams of a wax, 33 grams of hard oils, and 33 grams of a liquid oil. But in this case, I've swapped out my unrefined beeswax for refined and deodorized beeswax. Because this is a perfume bar, we want to choose ingredients that aren't going to interfere with the scent that we're going to add to our perfume bar. So I have 33 grams of refined deodorized beeswax, 33 grams of hard oils. In this case, I have split that in half with coconut oil 76 degree and mango butter. And finally, 
for my soft oils, I actually have jojoba oil, which is really a wax. To this, we are going to add our fragrance. Now, you should check with your manufacturer for the safe rate um, percentage that you can add to your product. But after you've weighed out all of your ingredients, you're going to melt them the same way you did your solid lotion bar and then add them to either a mold or a um, lip balm type container and let them cool. Once you've allowed your solid lotion bars and solid perfume bars to fully harden, you can remove them from the molds. And here we have a selection. You can do decorative ones in shapes like flowers and roses, um, or plain ones in bars or rounds. Um, you could even add some mica to your oils and do some coloring um, as I've done with these seashells over here. But just remember, um, if you add color, there is a chance you could add that color to your, to your hands when you use them. Um, so this might be more of a, a decorative kind of gift. Um, for packaging, I like, for the solid perfume bars, I like the lip balm-like containers because uh, these are these are sort of large versions of them, but the idea is that you're really not massaging this into your skin. It's really just to apply the scent that you've created, and the fragrance that you create in your solid perfume bars can be as strong or as mild as you would like, as long as you're following the guidelines for the maximum usage rate for the fragrance or essential oil that you're using. Um, for packaging, depending on their size and shape, you can use different kinds of containers. I think solid lotion bars are best when they're small um, because as you use them, they, they tend to get a little bit grimy, I think. Uh, so smaller ones get used quicker. You could certainly package multiple ones in um, solid containers. And I have um, here, this is a amber flat top jar from SKS bottles and you could fit several of them in there and do a very plain kind of packaging. Um, this That's a four ounce jar. This two ounce jar fits these rounds that I made pretty perfectly and we could do a jar like that. If you're using this kind of for your your own use these are cups from um, Target, I believe, and uh, they're just a few ounces, but I poured the lotion bar directly into this container, and it comes out very easily. Um, but these come with a lid, and they are pennies a piece, if you're using uh, something like that. Uh, you could do, of course, your own sort of decorative containers. So here's just a a box that I made and we're going to add some of the square ones in here and then just fold over our paper and add a top to it like that. Um, you can get wax wraps and these are from Michaels um, and sort of treat them like little uh, pieces of candy and wrap individual ones and give them a little twist on the side. I think that's a fun idea. Those are just a few ideas um, for the solid lotion bars. And um, that's about it for this video. Comments, questions, leave them below. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, click on that subscribe channel. Uh, so click on that subscribe button. Um, this is the short version of the solid lotion bars and solid perfume bars. Uh, if you'd like to watch the longer version, uh, click on the link below in the description. Thanks. Bye, everybody.